Hi guys, before we start today's lesson, I just want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you guys for loving the content enough to actually subscribe. That means a lot to me. For my old subscribers, you guys are the best. Thank you for hanging on. Thank you for starting with me from the beginning up until now. The content will get better as I learn right and guys keep on spreading the word from my last video the numbers have actually shot up as i said i'm trying to get 1000 subscribers by the end of the year guys so if you can do keep on spreading the word please let anyone who wants to know chi or wants to know what she's about come to this channel and actually find out what she's about guys with that let's start today's lesson <music> Hi guys, welcome again to Learning Tree the Fun with Tree Junior Pro. My name is Kwesi. And thanks for everyone who actually posted stuff in my comment section that needed me to translate. So the first person that wanted me to translate something was Afare. So Afare wanted to know, the floor is wet, so when you are walking, be careful you don't slip. So in Chi, that is a form Afo. Again, a form Afo. So a form is ground. Four is something that's wet. So a form a four is the ground is wet or the floor is wet. NT is like so. Wu nantia is when you're walking. Ye ye is be careful. Nawam petri is don't slip or don't stumble. So the sentence again is a form a four. Enti se wu nantia. Ye ashe ye na wan petri. You can also say this as well. A former four. Enti se wu nantia to buasi na wan fiasi. Which is again a former four. Enti se wu nantia is basically the floor is wet. So when you're walking, to buasi means be calm or calm yourself. Na wan fiasi is so you don't fall or fall over, which also means so you don't slip. So those are the two ways that you can actually translate that in Chi. Guys, thanks again. So the next person that wanted something translated was Lionel. Thanks again, Lionel, for your comment. So the first that he needed to understand is the word UC. It seems as if in Chi, we tend to use UC a lot, and he tries to ask people what that is. Is that a Chi word or not? Now, that we usually use that to say use. So we derive that from English, right? Everyone understands that we're trying to say use, but the word Yusu is not a key word, right? So he had two things that he needed translated, right? With the word use in between, right? But you have to understand some of these sentences that we use in chi doesn't have to use the word use. Sometimes it's implied. When you say the sentence, we deduce use from the sentence that you just said. So technically, we don't have the word use in chi. The only way you can actually say use is fire. So fire is take and do something with it, which becomes in English use. But some sentences won't have fire inside, but we deduce the use from those sentences. For an example, the two sentences that you sent me, right? Which is, you can now use the water to take your shower. In chi, that would be, Afei wube tumi dinsuo no akujare. Again, Afei wube tumi dinsuo no akujare. Afe is now. Wube to me is you can. Din suono use the water. Nua kujare to go bath. The second sentence that Lionel wanted to know is you can use my car to go to the store. Now in chi that is wube to me de me shaino ako adikton biaho. Wube to me is you can de me use my car. No ako go to adetom beer, the store or the shop. Ho is basically there at the shop. Thanks again, Lionel. I hope this helped you and that you understand how use is used in chi. That the literal meaning of use in chi is fire. And some of these sentences we don't have to put fire, but then we derive use from the sentences themselves. So thank you so much. The next person that needed something translated was Isaiah. So Isaiah wanted to know three things in Chi, right? The first thing that he wanted to know was what is loudly in Chi? Loudly in Chi can be said in three ways. The first one is ding, right? You can say wu kasa ding, meaning you're speaking too loud, right? Or you can say odinsu, and the last one would be anwodinsu. So those are the three ways one can say 
loudly in tree, right? So the second thing that Isaiah wanted to know was what is quietly in tree? Quietly in tree is ding. The third thing that Isaiah wanted to know was carefully. Carefully in tree is Ahreye which I think we covered in the beginning of this lesson. So guys, thanks again for all your comments. I really, really appreciate it. Hoping to get more, right? The last person that wanted something translated was Drew. So Drew wanted to know a couple of things, right? The first thing that Drew wanted to know was how to say, go and bring me the spoon from the room to me. Would be kofa atreno, free edainumu bremi. Kofa atreno, free edainumu bremi. Kofa atre is go get the spoon, right? No is that specific spoon. Free edainumu is from the room. Bremi is and bring it to me. Now the second thing that he wanted to find out is what is if in tree? If in tree is se. Se is if in tree. Now the other thing that he wanted to find out was I'm going to get something and come. In tree, that is mekoto adiaba which is I'm going to buy something and come. I'm not sure if that's what you wanted to say, but if you literally wanted to say you're going to get something and come, in chi, that is meko fa adiaba. Meko is I'm going, fa is take. Adia is that a specific object. Adia represents an object. Abba is and come back. So the next thing that Jew wanted to find out was how to say, they wanted to meet you, but you were sleeping. They wanted to meet you, but you were sleeping. So that in tree can actually be said in four ways, right? The first way is Omo Pese Woshiao Nansu Nawada, meaning they wanted to meet you, but you were asleep. Omo is they, Pese is wanted, Shiao is meet, Nansu, but Nawada, you were asleep or you were sleeping, right? Now the second way of saying it is Omo Pese Woshiao Nansu Na Wureda meaning they wanted to meet you but you were sleeping so the first one which is wada which is you were asleep then this one wurida means you were sleeping but remember they can be said in two ways you can say omu or wong so the third way of saying this could have been wong pese woshiao nensu na wada then the fourth way of saying it could have been wong pese woshiao nensu na wurida Guys, that's about it. Thanks again for watching. Thanks again for liking the content. Please click on the like button, click on the subscribe button, and click on the bell button for future notifications about the coronavirus, the COVID-19. Stay indoors. It's not about you, it's about the other person. Only go out for food or for medical emergencies. Like I usually say, listen to what your government is saying, right? So with that, guys, with lots of love, see you next week. Bye.